Orioles hosting the Tigers. The Tigers are plus 165 on the money line. The Orioles are minus 198. The over-under is 7.5 runs. The Tigers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 141, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Orioles laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 119, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two runs or more. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow, and the Orioles need to keep winning. They killed the ticket that I had today with a walk-off home run, but shit happens. Uh, Montero pitched once against the Orioles this year. Five shutout innings. They won 4-2. He struck out one. Burns once against the Tigers this year. Seven shutout innings. They won 4-2. That was in Detroit. He struck out seven. The weather for tomorrow's game is supposed to be 78 degrees with seven mile an hour winds from the right to the left and a 2% chance of rain. Head to head, the Orioles are seven and three. The home team six and four. The favorite is seven and three on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is five and five. There have been three one run games in their last 10. The under is hitting their last four. The under is seven and three and at seven and a half runs. One, two, three, four. The under is six and four at seven and a half. The Tigers haven't confirmed Montero as of yet. So in his last 10 appearances, they've won his last two as a team. Five and a third innings pitched, four strikeouts, 16.9 outs recorded, 5.1 hits, 1.7 walks, 2.5 runs, 2.4 of which were earned, 0.7 home runs, 84.8 pitches per game, 15.5 pitches per inning. And then when we flip it over to the Orioles and Burns' last 10 appearances, five and two thirds innings pitched, I clicked on something by accident, 4.8 strikeouts, 17.3 outs recorded, 5.9 hits, 1.5 walks, 3.7 runs, 2.9 of which were earned, 0.7 home runs, 94.7 pitches per game, 16.9 pitches per inning. And pretty much we're about to see the home stretch of why the Orioles brought him in because not only did they want him because they needed an ace, you need him for the playoffs. And, you know, now you're the push for the playoffs because they were slumping you know, when they pretty much had the division for the longest time and then they got cold and the Yankees got hot. The Tigers are on a four-game winning streak. Six runs, 13 runs, four runs, six runs. And I don't believe the Tigers played today. They did not. I just wanted to double-check. Uh, four runs in a win, seven runs in a win, three runs in a loss, and then four runs in a win. They took two out of three, like, a week ago from the Orioles and they did that at home so now for the Orioles they are three and seven in their last ten today snapped the losing streak that they were on six runs ten runs eight runs eight runs two runs and a loss shut out and a loss three runs and a loss five runs and a win and they finally scored some runs and that's why I think that they won ultimately a walk-off home run is the reason why they won I'm going to take the Orioles with the money line I'm going to take the Tigers getting the runs and I'm going under the Orioles really haven't been scoring consistently, so we'll see. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.